today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing a Get Red With Me where I test some new products. And I have three or five new products, uh, I think, it's depending how you count them. And I will show you these three or five products. So the first one is um, Pep Hydra, it's a setting spray or a hyaluronic fix. This is from Revolution or Makeup Revolution. I I don't get this changing of the name all the freaking time. Uh, this is a hydrating and plumping makeup fixing spray. I have tried one of their setting sprays before and I did not like it because it smelled awful. But I want to try this because it's going to hydrate and I need as much as hydrating hyd hydration I can on in the winter. So this one I'm going to try. And I have also get my hands on this Godographic Moon Tears highlighter from Wet n Wild. And Paulina Beauty, she loves this one. She raves about it all the time. But this did not release in Sweden, this Godographic collection. Because Sweden is like that with a lot of makeup. Um, but Beauty Bay launched this... Um, one week before Halloween I think and I bought this one and now it's sold out and yeah we're going to try this today I'm so looking forward to it and the last thing that is one thing or three things is pulp kit from Nabla and this is three new shades so it's one it's two more red and one neutral and I am so looking forward to use this. I love this packaging. And I'm going to try one of these. Or maybe all three. I don't know. And yeah. So that is the new product I'm going to test out today. So I am going to do my makeup. I'm going to talk a little bit. And then we will test these new products. While I do my makeup. And I will start with priming my face. And for eyeshadows today, I am going to use two different palettes. I'm going to use Blush Tribe Hasina 2 and also Kaleidoscope Dream from Urban Decay with their collaboration with Kristen Leanne. This is sold out right now, but it's coming back in stock. And yeah, I'm just gonna fix something with these two. I, I think what I... I know what I want to do. I think I know, at least. And... I'm gonna start with... I have not cleaned my brushes, maybe that was not such a great start. And I wanted to use two different palettes today because usually when I do my makeup on camera I usually only use one palette because I'm testing out palettes and doing looks with only one palette. So I think I'm very concentrated to just one. So that's why I'm using two today. And I think I know what I want to do. And I will start with a makeup primer. Makeup primer, eyeshadow primer. And I just want to say hello to all of my new followers. I think the most of you are coming from Annette's Makeup Corner and that makes me so glad. We did a collab and I am so happy for that collab. Because I really love Annette. She seems amazing and she is amazing. So I can leave the collab in this corner. It must be. So hello to everyone. And hello to everyone that has been here before. Okay, so we will start with the Sina 2 palette. And I think I will use this one. No. <laughs> I don't see where point. I will use this one, Re, and I think I will use this Iris. And I will take Re on my outer corner and also on my lid and in my crease. I think I will do two colors in my crease. I'm not used to do this, but I think it looks very nice. So I will try. So I start with this Re one on the brush. And I wanted to do a uh, get rid of me because I want to talk with you on one thing. I have bought a lot of makeup this year, which you may have noticed. And I, I have bought 
too much. I have, yeah, I have done it. So I was checking a video from LS. Uh, I can leave her video down in the descriptions, and she was talking about doing a no buy for a whole year, and I have tried that. I have had in the beginning of this year didn't shop anything that I didn't need for two and a half months. Um, it was just when products run out or something broke, I bought a new one and but then it like spiraled out of control. And I think a lot of you know what I'm talking about because there is so much new makeup like all the time and It's fun to try new stuff. Okay, this is not going to be a two color crease. Maybe we can save this. And there is so much new makeup, like all the time. And I really love to try new makeup. Um, but it's not. This is not my job. This is just a hobby. And sometimes it feels like I'm spending too much money. For for it. So I am thinking about doing a no buy year. And then I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to look at channels doesn't buy anything new for a whole year? Or is that super boring? Are you looking on a YouTube channel because people buy new stuff? Or are you looking at YouTube channels because you like to watch them for other reasons? Does that make any sense? So I am thinking about it, but I know some things that I want to buy that are really going to be released next year. So I think I'm going to try like a new buy. I want to, but I have some um, exceptions for things that I really want. And of course for things that I run out of. That now should be, I don't know. Okay, I don't know if this turns out as I want to. I don't know if this brush was a little bit dirty or if this color just isn't that pigmented. I want it to be more like popping purple. But it's not. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. I don't know. If it's interesting to watch a YouTube channel when they don't buy anything new. But uh, the ex exceptions I uh, want to do for this... Okay, my camera shut me off. I will start in January. Because I am that kind of person. And... Would it be fun... To watch a channel that doesn't buy so much makeup and try new stuff. Um, the exceptions I want to do. I have two brands that I want to buy from. And one is Blush Tribe. They are coming out with a new palette in... I think it's March. Maybe I really want that palette. And I'm going to buy it. And that's that. And the other brand is Linda Holberg because she she usually releases two things a year or not two things but two releases per year and I have everything that she has ever released. And I have always bought it when it is released and I want to do that because I want to support her and I really love her makeup so Blush Tribe and Linda Holberg is two brands that I'm going to buy from this year and I don't know if I should do any more exceptions I don't really know but it would be so nice to make, to, to, to be able to do this. So I am thinking about 
do that next year. But I'm not sure yet. I don't know if you can quit like t cold turkey with my stuff. I have no idea. Okay, now I will take the kaleidoscope dream and I will take this one that is called Lime Time. And I really like this shadow and I will put it in here. I hope this will look good. So I'm thinking strongly about doing that next year. But I have not made up my mind yet. But sometimes I feel, I've talked about this in one of my will I buy it videos, that I feel like fed up with the whole makeup thing. That it's like you have to buy this, 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 this. And I am never going to hit pan on every palette I have. So if I would do this no buy next year or a really, really low buy, I think I will do more tutorials, maybe palette bingos, maybe try to dupe things. So if you have any thoughts on this, I would be glad if you can leave them down in the comments. I don't know what I think about this. I want the purple to be more purple, but I don't know what to do. Maybe I should take another brush to apply the purple. Have you ever gone on a low buy or a no buy and how did it go for you? I don't just want to do it with makeup, I want to do it with like clothes and skincare and everything like that. Because I haven't been feeling so well this year and when I'm not well I shop a lot because I think it's going to make me feel better. And it does for a little while. Then the bad feelings come back so okay I think I like this what's happening to me but I don't know if I love it maybe I just like it I am so glad that I bought this Kristen Leanne palette because I did not want it at first but I think I bought it just when it it was on sale I think and I am so happy that I changed my mind and I don't know if I can stand the FOMO if I'm going with the no buy for a year because we all have FOMO I think the most of us is FOMO I don't know if this two colored crease is my thing because it feels like I never succeed with it and there will come a base routine on my channel. I think it will be the next video after this. It's on Wednesday. I'm trying to upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesday and Friday. And right now it's going. It's going pretty good. At one point I did upload four times a week. Because I did a will I buy it. I have done seven of them I think. But it doesn't feel like it's my thing to do it. I don't think that their videos, that videos was so good because it's not my... I didn't think I was good at it. It didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to be. So, I'm not doing that anymore. But I love to watch them because I like to hear... I think when you have decided to buy one makeup item, 
it's always fun to hear what someone else thinks about it because sometimes you get so locked like I really really want this because you have only yourself to talk with and then you hear somebody else come with their opinion on it just yeah that's correct and then you change your mind and I think that is good sometimes okay the foundation is on and I will fix the concealer and also my eyebrows and then I will come back and we test out this little baby I am so excited so I will fix the rest of my base except for my highlights so I will come back okay I am back and now we're going to test out this moon tears and I I am so glad that I got this so it's got um, I, I like this but I also don't this is a loose highlight I don't normally use you use loose highlighters and I don't like when the packaging is open all the time but I do like that it is a uh, skull skull that's all in here so we are going to peel this little peeling <sighs> we'll try to peel this No, it's happening. Oh my god, this is a hard... Okay! I don't know how they thought this was a good idea. The glue from this one is still on here, so my highlighter is going to get stuck in glue. I think I will take... Oh my some in the lid and it is very very okay I can switch this oh I don't know if you can see it no, maybe not but it looks really good it's a warmer highlighter and I will use this brush and I don't know how much okay that's way too much. Okay, we will try this now. Ooh. This is too much highlighter for me. Okay, I see if I can work it out and I can. And this looks... Can you see this? this looks amazing and this highlighter is so cheap so cheap okay it's super easy to work out So I'm so glad for that and I really like this one. I have to take a little mirror. See it there? This is so hard in the studio light but I think you can see it. And it looks so good. And it was super easy to work into the skin. Okay, I really like this and I'm so glad that I got it because whew, this is a nice highlighter. Okay, so I am super happy with this one. If you can get your hands on it, do it. I just, I just don't like this packaging because it feels like I'm going to have highlighters all over the place. So I will now test my fixing spray and I feel a little bit dry in my face so that's going to be nice. Here's even more stickers. It's going to be so nice to have a little bit of setting spray and I'm just going to see. Are you not supposed to shake this? 
I always like to shake things. <laughs> I'm going to spritz them. I don't know why. Okay, so we will see. First up, how is the spray? Nothing. Okay, it's a mist, but it smells awful. I don't know. I don't know what it smells like, but not good. And I don't know. I don't need. I don't want them to smell like peaches or anything. I just don't want them to smell bad. It smells like like some candy, but I don't know which candy. So I hope I will not smell like this in my face. So we will spritz this and. I have to hold my breath so I don't feel the smell. Oh, it smells... F I, I think it smells like cherries. You know, like this... Awful, awful cherries. Like this synthetic cherry scent. Oh my god, it smells so bad. But it feels good on my face, but it smells... Oh, but now I can't even feel the smell anymore. It feels like a normal setting spray. I like my setting spray to give me a little bit of glow, but I don't think it has given me any glow. At all, but it feels a little bit better, it doesn't feel so dry anymore, so that's good, but the smell awful. Okay, now for the last thing, I will take one of these lipsticks from Nabla, and I, I can't get over this packaging, and I think I can swatch them all. So the swatches look like this. So, first up, we have Blair, I think I will use. This one today, and then we have Hanging Rock, and this is, it's like Blair, but it's only darker, and then the red one is Roche Assassin. Assassin? Isn't that like a killer? <laughs> and it's that one, and that looks... It's a red but it has a blue undertone and I like those red best because then your teeth look whiter and that's always good. But I think I will take Blair because I don't think any of these will go with my eyes. No, I will take Blair. I think I had should have scrubbed my lips <laughs> before. It's a little too late for that. Okay, it's on and I don't know if it went so good with the eye look. Maybe it did not, but I think I like the color. I like this. <laughs> it looks good like this. It looks good, but like this. It's, it's not looking so good, but... Oh. Got some on my teeth. But I like it and I have tried uh, Nablus liquid lipsticks before and they feel, they feel good on the lips. And yeah. I'm just going to put on some mascara and then I will come back with my final faults on my new things. So time for the mascara. So now I have mascara on and everything. So. This look is finished, this video is finished and all over and uh, so long. So what do I think about the products? We can start with the product I didn't like and it is the setting spray. It feels very good. I don't feel dry, I feel moisturized. I'm missing a little bit of glow but this is not for fix glue or add glue. Glow glow glue glow but the smell is it's fucking awful it smells like 
synthetic sherry candy and I can't stand that smell so I don't know if I can keep using it because the smell is awful even though it's just when I spray it it's ugh. I don't know why to do like this stop putting smells or what the hell you are doing to your setting sprays revolution because it's not good and for the <sighs> this one I really love it. I think it looks so good and when I sprayed it, it sunk in so much nicer to the skin and it's it's amazing. I'm so glad that I get my hands of this. Yeah, I really like this and this is a lot. I think it's like 8 grams, 0.28 ounce. And this is vegan, this spray is also vegan and I think these are also vegan, I think now it's only, yeah, everything is vegan. So this, super love it, this maybe will become my new favorite highlighter. And for the pulp kit from Nabla, I'm so looking forward to use this super red one. But I like this one as well, even though it's maybe not a perfect match with my eyes, but I really like this color. And it feels... my lips were kind of dry, but it doesn't feel dry now, so that is a good sign. And yeah, I'm so happy that I bought this, and yeah, I'm so happy for all the things. And I really hope you liked this video. I don't know if I came to any conclusions in this video at all but I really hope you liked it and if you do please press like and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!